and you can have a rough idea of what you can do with it. So if you see this is an example, they, they pronounce it very differently. So like that. So A means A. So if you see here primary, so it doesn't ask you any registration. This for different A groups we have. For example, if I click on the year group or the here, I'm just going to Hi everyone, welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie. Hope everyone is fine. Today I'm going to share with you about some useful website for primary education. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell button. Then only you will get all my videos as your notification. There are a couple of things that I want to share with you. Um, I'm going to focus on websites that will allow you to access at home. Uh, some of the websites are useful to you um, from um, key stage uh, 1 and for key stage 2. Um, it carries from even reception which is from year 5 years old to key stage 2 which for year 6. Um, like all the website address I will be giving you in the description box. So I'm going to show some couple of websites that I will show you how to access it and what are the useful um, um, topics that um, that's inside the website. Today I'm going to show you some primary school services which are completely free and some required registration for you to access the website. So, so I have put all the website here in the word document and all this will be given into your description box. You can check with that later. Um, one of the website I want to talk about first is the Twinkle which is commonly heard throughout teachers career. So this one um, each teachers will be uh, go into and register and they will pay some kind of subscription for them to be able to access to use at school but I'm not just going to go and show this one now. So I'm going to show you the next website which is the free teacher. Um, this website, so let me press this one first. So when I click on this one, it has uh, lots of subject resources. If you see here on the top, there are lots of subject resources for different age groups we have. For example, if I click on max, uh, the year groups are being mentioned here. I'm just going to pull up the year one. Um, so why I'm going to year one is my son is in year one. So I'm just going to go to see, to show you how it looks like for count flowers, which is like they are very attractive if you see here because the little children like to see them, some kind of pictures in that one so they are very colorful images which will pull them into doing their work so if you see here how many flowers they need to calculate when you click on that one it will uh, give you the right answer so you can you can do with your children and one advantage of this website is that verb uh, if I go back to the verbal reasoning uh, let me go to the different language so for example if I'm going to pull up the English one so you have lots of resources like spellings, alphabet. But if I come here, there is a verbal reasoning. One of the advantage of this is uh, verbal reasoning, which will be useful for your 11 plus examination for your children, uh, which starts from the scratch because it's not like the advanced one, which will be helpful for them to start off from the scratch. However, one disadvantage is that in this subject, they don't have like age boundary. If you see here, we don't have age boundary for the other subjects, only for the max you have for the age boundary which take time to search um, search up so let me close this one I'm going to show the next one which is your primary resource let me pull up this so if you see here primary resource it doesn't ask you any registration this primary uh, resource is quite useful for parents who find teaching quite hard for example if you come from different country and you don't know how to teach them according to the UK standard so it contains the PowerPoint if I go into the max subject basically they have different types of topic that they will be covering in schools. Um, if you go for example I'm going for counting so that it contains if you see here there's a PowerPoint so that what you can do is if you click on the PowerPoint I'm not going to show that you can you can play around that one later. So when you click on that one it will show like um, step by step what your what you need to teach for your kids. Um, and then that will help them to um, then you have like a worksheet here document which is a good one for you for children to be able to do some work so let me close this apart from all these websites I have um, 
uh, Corbett Max Primary. So if I pull up this, this will be providing for example videos for children who are still struggling visually. For example, some children uh, still don't know how um, even though if they watch, um, they don't understand. So there's like a video so that it will be um, useful for all the other learners as well like example kinesthetic learner who will only like to listen in order to grasp the techniques for solving any kind of questions this is only this website is only for max for example if i click on that one it will be um, i have reduced the sound so it gives you the um, so if you see here it gives with the audio sound so it will ask you to write each number in a separate box this because the in the school you will have a book which has contains like the square boxes so it shows the video this will be helpful for um, people who can listen as well so let me close this one because uh, you have worksheet here if i go into this you have questions and for the questions you have answers as well so that it will be useful so the next one is I'm going to go for um, phonics which is for people who are from reception that's the basic foundation for children who starts um, school so this one is an Oxford owl this is an extremely fantastic website for foreign learners basically the children who comes from different nations what they do is they don't know how to pronounce complicated words so they don't have um, they don't know how to pronounce so this will help you this audio guide if you see this audio guide this will be impressively helpful for them to become a good re readers so i'm just going to show how do you uh, because in uh, in india and all they say a b c but here they 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 pronounce it very differently uh, uh. so like that so A uh, means A, which is uh, example words they can use with that A uh, sound and. So like that, it will help them to become a good readers because using phonics, they will start to learn in schools. So the next one I'm going to show is athletics, which is the my son's school uh, given um, this username and password for my kids but uh, this website is usually quite given by some school but not all schools will be given because it, i think it's very expensive and some schools will be paying for for students and they will give a set a password so let me click on the sign in so if you see here it, it asks you a username and password i'm going to enter it username and password so it gone into this if you see here, the, the, my son's school have, have set lots of activities here for them uh, to do in their uh, weekends or because now the school is locked down so they give lots of activities here which contains a lot of different activities inside each topic um, to improve the learning and also what they will do is like they will practice here I'm just going to show only the one of uh, how it looks like but this will be uh, there will be a different video in mathematics explaining how to do the activities and you can have a rough idea of what you can do with this so if you see this is an example but i'm not going to do this one i will show you later so when i come across this play if you see there is a live mathematics all over the world so what they do is they have a challenges which will be included as well um, they will be comparing to other schools or children all over the world if you see here in all over the world they have some children's online like 3543 and computer challenge you have 828 students and in this own class is our one children is doing this so this is a live mathematics you can also do that one all this video I will be putting a separate video in mathematics um, in later if you see my son he scored like 4709 which he is in the top at the moment so and the, finally the last one I want to share with you was this, um, the SAT ones but the, I will be showing a completely a different video for which includes the SAT papers and I will be completing some Max and English test papers in my upcoming video to give you a taste. So I will be showing how to do all these things in my coming. 
so keep watching thanks for watching hope this video will be useful to you more videos about education in primary secondary gcse um will be coming to you keep watching all the time um please like share subscribe to my channel click the bell button then all my videos will be coming to you as your notification until i see see you signing off from you maggie bye please subscribe to my mom channel